just got to make a slight adjustment here. But <laughs> all right, I'm Alucard Night Raven. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my next legacy review. Today I'm looking at Leader Class Blitzwing, and I have been so excited hunting this guy down. Finally found him the other day. So happy to have him. Looks great. I personally actually love all three molds, modes, mold. <laughs> modes, M O D E S. Whew. Um, yeah, the jet mode needs a. I mean, it's not the best, but honestly, for what it's pulling off, it works. To me personally, looks a lot like it came right out of the cartoon, um, with you know a few subtle differences like with the jet but you know then again you know animation is cool you know and i know a lot of people are like oh why is that cockpit gotta be sticking out like that well that's how it was in the animation with the original toy yes it didn't stick out that far however it doesn't stick out as far as you would think when you have it in hand like yes here in um on camera it looks like it sticks out really far but it's it's not that bad in hand personally but let us take a look at his packaging and yes I still have the fly he's still bugging me but wonderful artwork on that packaging we can see his robot mode his jet mode in the background and his tank mode right here and on this side tank jet Leader Class, Transformers Legacy, Blitzwing, Transformers, Generations, Takar Tomy. On the top, Transformers Legacy. On the bottom, barcode and all different kinds of words. On this side, our usual um, artwork. Still looks very cool. Loving that. And actually, I still have here my Leader Class Laser Prime. So we can get a good look. Add this artwork together so not too bad not too bad at all but with blitz wings on the back we have our product shots and all the different things you can do with the weird hand gun weapon things whatever you want to call them after this review, they're just going to go in a drawer with other um, accessories that I deem unnecessary. I mean, it's cool, I guess. It's a, it's a thing to do, but I just, I don't know. And we got our warning. Don't eat anything in here. Not good for you. And we've got this, if anybody wants to use it, the uh, um, oh, whatever code it is. I'm forgetting the name of it. I'm sorry. But there we go. There is our packaging. And here we have Blitzwing. And as stated, he has accessories. And we can put them on in tank mode. So I will show that off. And then I'll take them back off. And we'll look at his tank mode a little closer. So we have these, which I already have in their formation for this. And we've got a slot here. And this sort of tab right here and they're gonna go right here with this one and then same thing with this side and these flies are gonna bug me like crazy and I'm sorry about any background noise I do have my uh, washer drum going we have two guns and they're the exact same still look very nice absolutely love that and these go here and I may need to check because I think part of him popped out so same thing here okay let me see sometimes that happens where some things tab they'll pop out okay that one's fixed and flies you bug me 
Mm, there's that one. Okay. All right. And the last bit we have is his sword. Get out of here. Gosh, I need to get I need to get something to get rid of him. I've only got a I got need yeah. Sorry about them. It's one of them things where you get a, you get a couple and suddenly you got like an entire family and I they got to bug you. And I apologize about them in the background. I have traps out. I have things out. And it's got most of them. But there's a couple still floating around. So I am sorry about that. But getting back to his sword. Nice silver for the blade. Looks like it's molded all in purple plastic. And then the blade is painted in this silver. Looks very nice. But this storage, you got options. Like you could put it here whoops kind of like that you know, you could put it here or here or here and it would have been better if it could have stored down here like underneath I mean that would have been something a little bit better but yeah over now, I'll just set it off to the side. But here we have the tank all armored up with its extra weapons. So, yeah. Yay! Options. But let's take this all off and get him into his natural mode. The way he would normally look without a whole bunch of extra junk. And it looks good. Looks very good. I like it. I don't mind this at all. Not one bit. Make sure, sorry. Just make sure everything's transformed correctly. Okay. And you do have the thrusters, but I mean, it's it remind it makes me think of the original toy and then in the cartoon, you know, the way he looked. So Still, very cool, very nice. He rolls on his little wheels, as a tank should. Although, tank more should be like. Sorry. <laughs> but, you know. It works. So, got the little wheels here. You can see the beautiful paint for those treads. And the wheels for the treads. Like, it would have been nice having, like, uh, uh, some other color. But honestly, if you look at an actual tank, like, in time, like, most of these are black. Or they're just extremely filthy. So, it works. Um, articulation with this mold. Mode. Mode. Don't know what's wrong with my speech today but this turret can turn all the way around it's wonderful love the color too like he's got that beige color that he should have nice decepticon symbol there and then he's got the purple this some silver here some red and that'll be easier to see in robot mode and we'll get to that last but yeah looks amazing oh you can lift the turret up forgot about that but yeah very cool so let's get in to his jet mode and do forgive me if it takes a bit um the instructions have it going from tank to robot to jet and i'm not going to do that i want to go to jet so what we want to do is we want to open this up i'm gonna flip that in close that up and then we're gonna lift this up here now we're gonna untab untab that we'll leave that up like that for now. now the next bit we're going to do is we're gonna untab this and it just a little tab here or just it fits right in there 
I'm gonna fold this over like this and fold this in like this. So same thing over here. Bring it in, tab it, and it's it's tab here, slot right there, and that fly is bugging the heck out of me. On one, my tab is like nice and tight, and this other one, it just barely holds it in. But then we fold this in, and I'm whoops, sorry about that. And then what we do is we untab the arms. You see this tab right here, tabs in right there. So there's that. So untab just like that. And then what we want to do here, we're going to open, no, this can stay closed. So we want to open this up and we want to bring this out. And this is rather tight. Oh, no. The first time it was really tight. Like I could barely get it out. So, but, you know, after a bit, it finally starts to come out. Now, bring these up. And what we want to do is we want to untab this piece just like this. Then we're going to leave these like this. Oops. So separate the legs and we want to bring these, unfold these all out like that. And then we're going to do that on this side. So unfold that all out. Then we can close the legs back up and tap them together right there again. Make sure everything stays where it needs to. Just like that. And then we're going to untab here and we're going to swing it around. And I want to make sure that I'm doing this right. So we'll swing this around until it tabs in right in there. And I think, is there. Make sure I'm not missing anything here. So same thing. Come on. Untap. Swing it around. So tab all this together and it's a bit tight for tabbing in. I think, yeah, I think that's going to be good for those. Let's make sure it's tabbed in nice and tight. There we go. And now these... Bring it back down again, I think. Okay, I'm missing. What am I missing here? I think, yeah, I think that's going to come in and tab in right there again. These we want to fold out as well. Bring this back down like that. This, instead of going this way, we want to go this way with it. All right, and then these. Oh, no, I'm missing something here. Okay. So we want to bring these all in just like this there we go there we got it so I want to fold these in until it nice nice little click 
and then this tab is going to go right in there and help hold that all together and i think we're about done so yeah this comes down like this i believe make sure we got everything where we need it mm, yes i think that is all there is to it could be wrong <laughs> one sec okay i was slightly wrong on one little thing with it so let's bring this out and we want it spun this way still and then we can bring it down so so there we go and i think that is going to be all that there is to our jet mode and yeah it's not perfect but honestly it doesn't bug me as much as it as it does i know quite a few people i don't think it's as as bad as it could have been and we have seen worse but yeah looks really good absolutely love it but again that's my personal opinion everybody's differs I mean, to me personally I think it looks really good I really do so yeah now for the weapons they can go kind of anywhere you want them to be um, for the most part but like the instructions they're showing plug in these guns right here so one on this side one on this side and then the sword they're basically like something like i think right here i guess so like right in here i mean <laughs> oh well and then with these so we want we want to do separate them Plug them in like that. Same thing with this one. And this one is the one that's sort of a pain getting out. Come on. Pop out. Come on. One sec. Hold on. Okay, got it. And what we do here with these in this mode. Ugh, these flies are bugging me. They're bugging me. Go away, go away. All right, we flip. Oh, no, we flip this one down. Oh, no, we flip them up. Flip them both up, which kind of sucks, but yeah. Flip them, and then we'll plug it in. One on this side, one on this side. think pretty much like that yeah I don't know any other way of it going honestly and yeah then there's those yay thing you could do with these weird oversized hand things whatever they are So much you got to do with it it's rather annoying with those things but the guns i mean they don't look bad like they look like they definitely belong there in this in this mode so yeah there's our drop mode i i don't think i i like it i think it works especially with everything else he's got to do um 
you know, yeah, some some third party companies did it better. Then again, those those cost more. They had a whole lot of time on everything they were doing with it, you know, with with everything they did, you know. A fifty dollar toy compared to a two hundred dollar toy. Really not much to compare about. Oh, forgot to go over the color. So now we've got some yellow. Looks very nice. We got Decepticon symbol right here, and we got two right there. Yeah, I I think it works. I personally do like it. But then again, that is my personal opinion. Not everybody's cup of tea, and that's what makes having our own um collections great is like there's things that i don't like that i'm not gonna gonna get and there's things that others don't like that they're not gonna get so me personally this legacy line i'm getting almost everything <laughs> but yeah so let us get him into robot mode let me raise you up again so let's see where should we start i think we'll start with opening this up opening this up we'll fold this in just like that we'll leave that down for now we'll untab and bring this up and fly get out of my space out of my space all right, let's fold these back up and untab this from the arms and whoops, and also remove the guns. <laughs> Set those off to the side. Then we're gonna untab this piece again. We're gonna bring, oops, and untab it from the back. We're going to just bring it up like this for now, out of the way. Now, we'll rotate here. Whoops, nope, not that way. You actually only can rotate it one way. All right. So, there's that bit of him. Gonna bring the arms back up like this. Seriously, stop, fly, get out. <laughs> I am so sorry about that. I mean, oh, I'm sure, I wonder if anybody else, like, deals with flies as bad as we do here where I'm at. Okay, so, there's that much done. I'll bring this up like this out of the way, and we will start with the legs. We're going to separate we're gonna rotate all this down like this and then I'm gonna rotate here and this is going to tab in right there rotate again and this is gonna sit right there and there's another slot right here that's gonna tab in there so get that all lined up and we want this folded because this is gonna tab in right there so it, it tabs in at quite a few spaces places I like that it works looks nice works very nice but there's one leg nearly done so then we're gonna rotate this and then this tab is gonna tab in right in there and that finishes off his foot so same thing here rotate it all up until all that plugs in, we'll rotate this. Rotate till we plug in. Rotate till we plug in. Everywhere we need to plug in. I think this one's missing something. It should have plugged in a little bit tighter. Maybe not. Okay. And then same thing open up the feet 
and tab that in. And there we have legs done. Excellent. Now, this, what we're going to do, I want all this to sit like this. So bring it around here, and this is going to tab in right there and finish the chest. And then this is going to come down and sit like that. And then we want to bring this down just like that. So it should sit very smoothly. And there we go. Now, the last thing to do is finish off his arms. So with this, what we're going to do, bring this forward. So we want to flip this around as we bring this around like this. So we want to flip it this way. Then we can open up, unfold our hands. And these, they don't really like tab. I wish they would have. But you just flip them and they sit kind of like that. And there's that arm done. And I swear this is ready to pop out. Well, maybe I'm just seeing things. And there we go. So now same thing here. I'm gonna rotate right here. Rotate this all the way around. Bring the fist out. Finish rotating it until it sits. Well, like that. And the last bit. Want to flip these out. So flip these out. And I think that is all we've got left for Blitzwing. Get him in a nice standing position. Okay. All right. And there we go. And there we have Blitzwing. And he looks great. I love it. Oh, man. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Just the engineering on this guy is wow. Like, he's not up there. He's not like Cyclonus level, but he's like, I'd say, one step down from Cyclonus level on the engineering and looks. Um, they are doing some amazing things. Like, my next legacy review that showed up today. Is Cyclonus level, and I can't wait to show you guys that one. But that will have to wait until tomorrow. No spoilers. But I got I he arrived today while I was at work. So, but as for Blitzwing, oh man, I love it. Oh, he looks so good, so good. It's that nice beefy look. just wow but let us take a look at that head and oh man that is a blitzwing head that is a wonderful blitzwing head love the yellow got some red for the uh, goggles visor whatever you want to call it beautiful silver on the face got that little grimace even got the little red right in the middle there I love it the purple and silver, the beige, just all looks so, so good. Like, they did this figure great. Septicon symbol right there on his chest. I mean, I am happy with him. I am so happy to have an updated Blitzwing that looks, for the most part, like he came right out of the G1 cartoon. Exactly what I, like... 
as a kid, this is what I imagined playing with the original Blitzwing. Like, this was my imagination was this. What I always had hoped for. And, oh, we are getting great, great G1-esque style figures at affordable prices, you know. Masterpiece is great. Uh, Third-party Masterpiece is great. Um, but for... Hasbro to be doing Hasbro and Takara to be doing such great figures as well at somewhat affordable price. I know prices have gone up. It sucks. Inflation always sucks. But still great, great figures. Now articulation, head is on a ball joint. Spin all the way around. Looks up that far. Down, not too far. Arms come out that far you can get a little bit more but not much so out that far have bicep swivel um can do full 360 but it's limited this piece does not move it's only right in here so it is pretty limited which does suck but yeah as i said bicep swivel we've got a little over 90 for the elbow just a bit over 90 we have wrist, so that's something that we don't see too often on these. We have waist. Lift this flap, and he can kick forward that far. Kick back, not too far. Have bicep swivel. Can he do full Van Damme? Eh, not quite. It gets, stops right there. We have just over 90 for the knee, so wonderful to see that and foot we've got ankle breaking ankle pivot <laughs> and then the toe and the heel can move if you want them to so you can get some decent positions out of him not too bad not too bad um i do wish with the arms like these would have tabbed in like, that's the one thing I don't get is, like, why is there not a tab? Or is there an, I think, is there? No, it just sits there. I thought maybe, uh, maybe, maybe it's, it's a slight tab, not much. So, I mean... Yeah, so it does tab. I did not. It's just a very light tab. It's it's just enough to like hold it while you have him displayed. So, I mean, it's okay. It would have been better if nice if a little bit of a tighter tab. But it is what it is. Now, weapons. He can, of course, hold his weapons. You can give him, we'll get these out of the way just because I want to get them out of the way. But they, they do this in such an odd way. Um, so the, looks like there's this tab here. It's going to tab in there. And the thing that really sucks for this, you got to fold the hands in. So. bring this back up like this because apparently it's his new replacement hand I think, I guess, I don't know it's so dumb it's honestly just so dumb okay, where's that tab? where's it supposed to be tabbing at? come on, get in there Find that tab. Maybe I'm on the wrong one. Maybe it's... No? No. Okay. <laughs> In here somehow. Uh, it's so weird. So, so weird. I don't... So, so dumb. Like, what am I missing here? Where I feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> okay, so they're supposed to tap. I can't get them. I cannot get them. 
Maybe we gotta have it slightly angled. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's dumb. It it's just so dumb. <laughs> but basically something like that. I I said dumb. Really, really dumb. Really, really, really dumb. <laughs> Alright. Now for his other weapons, though. The ones that are a little more... Blitzwing-esque. You know, weapons that we would assume for Blitzwing to have is, of course, his sword. We just plug that in. And now he's got his sword. Love it. Think it think it looks great. And we can give him one of his guns. You could give him both, one in each hand. But personally, I like him having the sword in one hand and a gun in another. But that's me personally. Alright, so there we go. These, like I said, these are going to go into a box. I'm not going to use them. I'm glad that they, that some people's theories that it was something for Motormaster, a.k.a. Menasaur. I'm so glad it's not. <laughs> really happy it's not. But, as for Blitzwing, great figure. I recommend him. Personally, I recommend him. Um, just like with some figures, it's not for everyone. But, hey, you know, if you're happy with one of the other Blitzwings, I think the Titan's Return is the only, is, is the one that, like, looks good too. Granted, I don't like the uh, Titan Master aspect of it because Blitzwing was never a headmaster. So... The head coming up, I just don't like that. That's why I never got it. If, for me, if it was an actual headmaster in the cartoon, I got it. I want what I wanted for Blitzwing was like what we got here. Completed, looks great. I think all modes work, but that's my personal opinion. So, but if you don't have him, great addition to your collection. Definitely recommend him. Um, Popping up in stores, I was lucky to find him. I happened to be working and had to stop at Walmart. Decided while I was there, I'd go check and see if anything new. And sure enough, there was Blitzwing. And I had, I just had to grab him. So happy with him. So, so happy with him. And again, I'm so sorry about the flies. <sighs> Got to do some shopping later. And get some stuff but but I think I've rambled on enough so Transformers Legacy Blitzwing I personally recommend him keep an eye out check your stores should be popping up um, hopefully more frequently I don't understand with him and with um, some of the others like, why they package them the way they do, you know, like, he's one to a case. Uh, so, what, there's three figures in a, in a case, I think. Three, three. So we get a bunch of Galvatrons and then one Blitzwing. Like, why do that with the newest figure in the wave? Makes no sense. Same thing with Sludge. I haven't been able to find him because he's one to a case with three star screams again why do that should have been either two two or three one with sludge being the majority blitzwing being the majority just makes more sense more people can get the figure that a lot of people already had galvatron or already grabbed star scream we want the new ones so 
So yeah, that's going to be it for me. So thank you for watching. If you stuck around this long, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so happy um, to give you my opinion, to show you these wonderful figures. So again, thank you. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you all later.